and my sister, are, are our people as so-called blacks, are we subject to the higher powers? Oh, I'm, my, that's confusion. Give me one minute. Hey, hey, he, he does, he does. Oh, okay. So try to hold the mic like a little bit down so he can read you a little. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Um, Romans chapter one, now, nah, Romans, Romans one and uh, 22, something like that, you know what I want? Romans chapter one, and let's read, uh, who, who have changed the truth of God into a lie? You got it? Yes, sir. Come on. Romans chapter one, verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? So the Bible says, who changed the truth of God into a lie? A lie. We And worshiped and served the creature more than the creator. So in other words, we want to do what we want to do. We serve ourselves. We serve our own thoughts and ideas. Hold that. Give me Sirach chapter 5. Right? Because the Bible lets us know that we serve ourselves. And that's how we change the, uh, the truth of God into a lie. I'm going to have a read along. Okay, all praises. All praises. Sirach chapter 5 and start at verse 1. Sirach chapter 5 verse 1. Verse 2. Verse 2. Follow not thine own mind. No, start at verse 1. Come on. Verse 1. Set not thy heart upon thy goods. So that's what most of our people do. We set our hearts upon our goods. Right? Meaning our money. How we can get money to the point where we transgress the laws of God. Right? That's what my brother is doing over here. Right? He's setting his heart right uh, uh, according to his goods. We are concerned about money uh, 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 instead of being concerned about salvation. The laws of God. Teach him he's going to read along while you're bringing out what he needs to do. Understand. Understand. So read that again. Set not thy heart upon thy goods. So the Bible lets us know that we ought not to set our hearts upon our goods, meaning our mind. Read. And say not, I have enough uh -huh. for my life. So the Bible lets us know, say not, you have enough for your life, meaning what? To the point where you don't want to help out your own brother. Right? Meaning, we ask you, we ought to keep the laws of God. People say, now nah, I'm good. Why? Because they set their heart upon their own goods. Right? I got enough money. I need not to adhere to the laws of God. Read. Follow not thine own mind. So the Bible says, follow not thine own mind. Right? Your own mind lets you know that you can behave how you want to behave. You can dress how you want to uh, dress. But the Bible lets us know that how you're supposed to dress is according to God. Right. How you're supposed to think is supposed to be according to God. That's Read. Right. And thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. So the Bible lets us know we ought not to follow what we want to do. Right, I'm going to show you what, how we're supposed to follow. Go back to Romans. Right, this is very important for my brother. Read. Romans chapter 1 verse 25. Come on. Yes, sir. Romans chapter 1. And that, is that uh, who changed the truth of God? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're going through who changed the truth of God into a lie. Right, my brother. We teaching, thus saith the Lord. All right? Get you a pound. Get you a pound. Well, back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. All right? Do he's pounded. All right? So we out here teaching my brother, right, who changed the truth of God into a lie. But you need to hear this too. Right? Read. Romans chapter 6, verse 25. Come on. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Sorry. Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Come on. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? So the Bible says, who changed the truth of God into a lie? My brother, who do you think changed the truth of God into a lie? We did ourselves, right? How? Because we want to serve what we want to do, right? We want to do what we want to do, and that's how we change the truth of God into a lie. Such as, I want to act like a woman, but you a man. I want to dress like a woman, but you a man, right? That's how you change the truth of God into a lie. Because God lets us know how we're supposed to behave. Because He cares for us, He loves us. But when we do opposite of that, we show that we don't love God. We don't want, we say what? We are disobedient. Very good. We and worship and serve the creature more than the creator. So how do we worship the creature more than the creator? The same point. We do what we want to do. We follow our own mind. We who is blessed forever. Amen. Uh -huh. So who is blessed forever? Amen. We for this cause uh -huh. God gave them up unto vile affections. So the Bible says for this cause, meaning because my people didn't want to obey me, 
I'm going to leave them in their condition. And when, they, when they're left in their conditions, they're going to conjure up all manner of evil. That's right. And they're going to uh, uh, depart from my laws, right? But saviors shall come, right? And so redeem his people back to the covenant. We, for even their women. Even their what? Their women. So the Bible says even their women, we, did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So the Bible says our father, the heavenly father, the God of Abraham and Isaac said that women change the natural use of that which is against nature. What is the natural use of a woman? It's to bear children. Right. It's to be on subjection to a godly man. Right, that's right. Right? But they change that because they want to do what they want to do. We. Verse 27. Come on. And likewise, uh -huh. also the men. Also the men. We we read on. Leaving the natural use of of the woman burned in their lust. So the Bible lets us know homosexuality is against God. That's right. Right? The man leaving his natural use. What's the natural use of a man? It's to lead his nation and his children and his wife. Right. Right? To bear children. To plant the seed. Teach. A godly seed, your holy seed, into your black woman, into right. your Hispanic woman. Right. Right? To raise up righteous children. According to God, we burned in their lust uh -huh. one toward another. One toward another. Men with men. Men with men, which is an abomination. Right. We working that which is unseemly. Working that which is unseemly, meaning a man and a man don't go together. Right. Working that which is unseemly. You can draw the picture in your mind, right? That's unseemly. Two rise together. Would you gonna have a sword fight? Right? Two, two uh, 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 vaginas together, what are you going to do? Nothing. You have to go and get a dildo to act like a man. Right. We. And receiving in themselves uh, that recompense of their error, which is not, which was me. Which is, which was me, meaning the recompense, which is the judgments of God. Right? STDs. Most of the time when you get man on man, they get an STD quick. Why? Because that is not seemly. It's not seemly. Go to uh, Leviticus 18. What does it say? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Give me the law. Homosexuality. Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Read that. Hey, my sister, why are you walking across the street? Listen up. Listen up. Read. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 22. Come on. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. It says thou shalt what? Thou shalt not lie with mankind. So the Bible says thou shalt not Thou shalt not lie with mankind, we, as with womankind. As with womankind. Meaning what? The way that a man is supposed to lie with the woman, you're not to lie with the man the same way. The same way that a woman is supposed to lie with the man, you're not supposed to do the same thing with the woman. That's what God says, who loves you. Right? We. It is abomination. It is what? Abomination. So the Bible says it is abomination. It is abomination. Give me that in uh, Sirach. Right about abomination. Is that uh, 17? You know what I want? Yes. I think that's 17 or 7? You said 15. 15. So we're going to get what God, how God feels about abominations. Right? When you're in the midst of sin, when you're in the midst of homosexuality, you are an abomination to God. Right. But we were supposed to be the chosen people. We. Is that it? Yep. Sirach chapter 15 verse 13. Come on. The Lord hateth all abomination. Who? All abomination. Who hates it? The Lord. The Lord hates it. Right? The God of you and I hates all abominations. And so guess what? If you are in the midst of homosexuality, my brother, you have to repent. Right. You got to repent from that thing. Give me Acts. Acts 2 and verse, you know what I want. The Bible tells us that we must be converted, right? So there's a lot of things that we must be converted from, right? Just as you have to be converted from homosexuality, guess what? We have to be converted from a lot of other things, right? such as lying, right? Hating one another, right? The spirit of murder is upon our people, heavy. We have to be converted from that thing. Just as, hard, just as it's hard as someone that's in the midst of homosexuality to be converted, guess what? You got some things that you got to be converted from too. Teach. We. Acts chapter 3 verse. We all got some things we need to be converted from. We. That's right. Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Come Bring on. It up. Repent ye therefore. So the Bible says repent ye therefore. We. And be converted. And be converted. 
Meaning what? We must change from our own ways. We must change from buying and selling and working on the Sabbath. Why? Because God says in his laws, the God that loves us tells us that we ought not to work and buy on the Sabbath. Teach. Right? The God that loves us tells us we ought not to be in homosexuality. You're supposed to be a leader of your community. Right? You're supposed to be a leader of your community. Right? We're supposed to rebuild the breaches. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!